Hi, everyone. How are you doing today? My name is Tina Bangma. I am a creative designer with Michaels. Today we are making the Fantasy Unicorn Crests. They're these. And so we're going to make these today. And again, today is the last day for Camp Creatology. Um, hopefully a lot of you were able to go to most of them, or if not all of them, and we hope that you had a great time this summer doing Camp Creatology with Michaels. Um, if, again, if you do have any questions, add them to the Q&A uh, section, which is down below. Um, and Himena will let you know what your questions are so I can answer them. She will let me know then. Um, so don't forget to have your parent or guardian post your finished project and tag it with hashtag Michaels Kids Club or hashtag Make It With Michaels or hashtag Michaels Classes. And if you can switch me over to the overhead camera, that would be great. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is you are going to need, these are the supplies that you will need today. You will need a glue stick, you will need the creatology, which you can't really see it well, but I do have, you will need the craft case. And the craft case has scissors, so you can use those scissors if you want to use them, or you can just use some other scissors. And then a pencil. You will also need to have one of your parents or guardians download the template that you can find um, at michaels.com. This is what the template looks like. And so we will cut those out. Also, it is in the, um, Himena has put the template link in the chat, I believe is where she put that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have our template. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut, we are going to cut these templates out. But we're going to put this off to the side right now because we're going to get all the other supplies that we need that are in the case. You will need out of this case, all you're really going to need are the foam, sheets, and the scissors. You can use some of the other items to decorate your crust if you would like, which it's up to you. Decorate it. You can add some of the glitter glue. You could add any of the um, chenille stems or the wiggle eyes. Wiggle eyes would look really cute on it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a couple of sheets. Now, these are the original ones that I had designed for this class. And you can make them with these colors if you like. This one is the unicorn crest. This one is the dragon claw crest. We have the template to make both and we're actually going to make both today. But again, you do not have to use these colors. You can use any colors. I'm going to change it up a little bit on my colors today for this class. So for the back where I have the green, I am going to use Let's do purple. So I'm going to pick out the purple. So I have two sheets of purple. Set them off to the side. So those are for the background. And then for these two, I am going to pick out pink and orange. And set those there on the table. And then for my the circle and the unicorn horn background, I'm going to use blue. And then for the claw and the stripes on the unicorn horn, let's go with red. So I'm going to put the other foam sheets aside. and put these here. 
Now I'm going to start, I'm going to take my scissors. And the first one that I'm going to cut out is going to be the circle. Because the circle is going to be easier to cut out now, because then once we get the circle cut out, we are going to transfer it to the, we're going to take the pencil and trace it onto the foam. So we have that template. And then once we do that, we will cut, finish cutting out the claw so we can add the claw to the color that we picked out and transfer or trace it there as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut on the outside of the circle. You can do outside circle, inside circle, it doesn't matter, but you're just going to cut along. And and so there is the cutout circle that has the claw on it. So now I'm going to take the red foam, which I believe is the one I said that I was going to use. <laughs> if not, it will still work. And so I place it on here. Then I take my pencil and put my place my finger on the template and trace around the circle. Lightly trace onto the foam. And then before you completely take it off, fold it back so you can see if you got all of it cut out or traced. So I'm going to set this one aside. You can't see it very well on the camera because it's the uh, pencil mark. So I'm going to set that off to the side. So now that I've traced that out, we're going to cut, finish cutting the template for the dragon claw. This one's going to be a little bit harder to do because it's very delicate. So you're just going to take it along and you can just turn the paper with the scissors. And again, you can find the template in the, Himena has sent the template to everybody. Also, you will be able to <clears throat> watch this class at a later date. You can also find this class online already on demand at michaels.com. And with it being the weekend, it will probably take it will take a little bit longer for it to be down or uploaded. So it will be about it'll probably be Monday. But again, you can pause. You can pause it when you uh, watch the video so you can work at your own pace. So Tina, we do have a, a, a few questions about um, materials. If um, someone doesn't have foam, can we use other materials such as you know construction paper, fabric, uh, stuff like that? Yes, you can use uh you can use the construction paper, you can use cardstock, you could use fabric, like you said, you could even take um, cardboard that you have for around the house and you could use some paints and just paint it and still use the same templates and just instead of using the foam, you could make the paint, use it with the painted uh, cardboard. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. And while you're cutting, another question did come in. Um, do you have any idea or is there any um, information yet on when Camp Creatology starts again? Today is the last day for Camp Creatology for this year, for this summer. Everything is, will be, we do have the on-demand videos at michaels.com for all the classes that have been taught for this camp creatology so you can go back and watch those and with those 
great because you can pause them and work at your own pace. Perfect. And there are also um, kids classes on a regular basis. So yes, just and we do. We do have a lot of kids classes um, online as well as we do have some in store now. And then we do have some make and takes. And um, you can find all that information at michaels.com under um, inspiration and then classes and then as well as kids. So here is the cutout claw. And so I'm going to put the claw on blue. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other template is put my finger on it to hold it down. This one's going to be tricky. So you're going to trace it with a pencil. Or if you have a pen, that's fine as well. And then you're going to trace it. Sometimes with the darker colors, it does work better with the um, pen, but this one's working fine. Because it also like imprints into the foam. And there's a lot of things that you can make with this craft case. The craft case that um, I was showing you earlier that had the fun, the craft foam in it, it has 900 and one pieces in it. So you've got the craft foam. You also have a pair of scissors. It comes with um, chenille stems, wiggly eyes, glitter glue, glue, uh, floss, I'm trying to think what else was in there, craft sticks, pony beads, sequins, uh, craft shape, foam uh, shapes that are um, adhesive. So you can stick those onto anything. It comes with pom-poms either, or it comes with pom-poms that are glittered. You can see it here. They're glittered ones and they also have the um, standard pom-poms. Then it comes with a pack of feathers, craft sticks, tissue squares, and um, gem adhesives. So you can make a lot over, you can make a lot of projects with this. This is great for like, if you're going on vacation, this is something that you can take with you because it comes in this case. And then you've got everything that you can pretty much that you need to make something while you're on vacation, maybe to um, document your travels or wherever you might be going. And speaking of summer travel, where are some of y'all going this summer? We're staying here and enjoying this nice hot Texas weather this year. So we have a couple of, of answers coming in. So Maddie is going camping. Um, Phoebe is going to Oregon. Gabrielle is going to Ghana. Ooh, Ghana, that'll be fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, someone's going to Florida to fish. We have the fun. zoo. Texas, Yellowstone, Michigan, um, Maria's grandmother's, Boston. Oh, someone went to Boston for the 4th of July. Um, someone's going to Legoland, Canada, Niagara Ooh. Falls, all over the place. I love it. They are. Legoland, that one will be fun. I'm a big Lego fan, so I would love to go to Legoland. So now what we're doing is we are cutting out the shape for the claw. out of the craft foam or if you're not if you don't have the craft foam you can use the um, cardstock construction paper recycled cardboard fishing in florida that would be fun too deep especially deep sea fishing never done that but it sounds like a lot of fun it is fun. Okay, yeah. so there's my claw. Doesn't 
not perfect, which it's fine. So there's that. So I'm going to set that aside. Now I'm going to take, if I can pick the paper up, we're going to cut out this form or this template. This template is for the backing of the uh, crest for both of them. So we're going to cut one of these out and then we're going to transfer, we're going to trace it onto two pieces of foam because you need two of them. So all I'm doing is just cutting it. And speaking of family crests, does anybody know their family crests from their grandparents or great grandparents? Ours, I don't know our family crest. And what it is, it's basically a symbol representing something that is important to regarding your family. You can see, um, you can look online and there's a lot of them. They, they look this, this shape. Some of them are, um, they've got like points, some of them have points up at the top here. Some of them are rounded or down into a V at the bottom for the shapes of the crest. It just depends on that family and where they're at. And then in the middle of it, and that's where I got the idea for these, is in the middle part here is usually where they'll have a painting or a drawing of something. And it's usually like an animal, maybe a horse or um, a dog or, or something that's got an important meaning to that person, the country or the, um, that they're from, that family is from. So it's really fun to look into your family history and to see what kind of family crests you might have. So this one we made because of the, for the fantasy, because we are on fantasy week. So it was a fantasy and with fantasy, we have the unicorns and then we also have the dragon. So it's, we've got the fantasy family and we've got the dragon family. I mean, the unicorn family and the dragon family. So now that I have my crest drawn out or cut out, I am going to take it and it fits perfect on these foam pieces because as you can see it's the same almost the same size width and length as it so now all I'm going to do I'm not really going to trace it because I'm just going to hold on to it and cut it here and then cut off the excess as well here and so there's one of the family crest, unicorn crest, sorry. So then we're gonna take the other one and do the same thing. So while you're cutting, um, Maddie says that hers ha her family crest has a bull. Interesting. Yeah, that's that was a fun one. It's a very fun one. And I, I can say that mine, um, my second um, last name is sturgeon, as, is, as in the sturgeon fish. So I know that mine has three tiny sturgeon fish. Oh, there. that is cool. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what ours is. I guess I should look into that. That would be something that, that would be a fun summer project is trying to find out what your family crest is. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so now that we've got the two crests cut out. I'm going to set those to the side. And now I'm going to cut out these two pieces here. But first, I'm going to cut the bottom one because this part will be on the right side. It goes, I'm sorry, it goes on the left side of the crest. So I'm going to cut that one out first. While you're cutting, um, Ethan says that um, his family um, crest has a horse. 
Ooh, I love horses. Great animals. All of these are great animals. And it's so neat that y'all know your family crest. And remember when you are done with your project to have your parent or guardian upload it onto social media and do hashtag uh, make it with Michaels or hashtag um, Michaels Kids Club. And then in the other one is hashtag Michaels Classes. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to take two, you're gonna make two of these. So I'm gonna use the pink for this one and I'm lining it up. I'm gonna line the long end up to the corner here. So I have a straight edge and then I'm going to take my pencil and you can see where I have it up against the edge here, right down here. So it's got that straight edge. And then I've got the top point up into the corner here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and trace around the template. And I did get it all. And then I'm gonna have, you need to make two of these. So I'm gonna take it over on this side. I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna do it again on this one. Line the long end up to the side and the point up into the corner. And then you're gonna trace it again. And you can keep these templates um, so you can make more for friends. You can come up with your own family crest if you want to, or you know, have some, some fun with your friends and have you know like a friend crest. Just fun things to make with your friends. So now I'm going to cut these out. And these are easy because it's straight lines. So in the meantime, we have two more um, answers. So Zach's um, family crest has a phoenix and Lily's has dragons. Wow, the dragon one, that one's cool too, as well as the phoenix. Phoenix are awesome. And the dragon one, well, you're kind of making one, but it's the dragon claw. And also when you're thinking about the, um, the crest, there's a lot, of, um, and also families have certain colors. Um, so, you know, some families, their family colors may be red and blue or, you know, purple and green or, or, or whatever. So that has something to do with the, uh, the family crest as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my two crests that we first cut out. And then these are the back part of the crests. If I can get them the correct way. They will go this way on the crest. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay them down. And what I do is I try to line up this corner to this corner you can kind of see where it all lays out here and i'm just laying them out for now i'm not going to glue them down yet but i'm just going to have them there and put my scraps away whoops because you don't want to put them down yet because you want to get this other piece that we're fixing to cut out. Um, cut so you can line them up. So now this is what we have left to cut out. I'm going to cut out this bottom piece that will fill in right here and here.
So I know summer is almost over for some of y'all and y'all are gonna have to go back to school. Who's all having to go back to school here in a couple weeks? I know here in Dallas where I'm at, they're having to go back in the next couple of weeks. And it's gonna be hot outside for them. So while but, those answers come in, we do have um, someone, uh, their family cross has red and blue and Maddie's has pink and teal. Pretty. And now okay. we have August 10th, first day of mid school. Maddie says me, so I'm guessing soon. That means soon. <laughs> homeschooling. Yes, that's true. Homeschooling. Y'all can start, you know, homeschooling starts pretty much any time. But it's always good to be in school. Okay, so now we have the other half of the second layer of the um, crest. I'm going to put this on the orange. The This part here at the top is going to be the top here. So it's going to fit in just like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, since we have a corner, I'm going to line it up into that corner. And then all I have to do is trace right here. And again, before you lift it up, make sure that you do have it all covered. And then I'm gonna take it here. Let's do this way, nope. We're gonna take it in this corner and trace it as well. and then just make sure that it is all covered. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna set your template off to the side because you can reuse these templates. Again, when you have friends over, you can, this would be a fun craft to do with your friends or if you're having cousins come over for the summer, um, that would be fun too. I know during the summer, it was usually when I would always get to see my cousins. So I, we always did crafts and we hung out together, had fun at the lake. So now what we're doing is we are going to cut these foam pieces out that we transferred the template onto. Now I do have a question for some of y'all. How many of y'all have taken all of our camp creatology classes this summer? And if so, I have another question on that. But we'll just first, I want to see how many of y'all have taken all of the camp creatology classes for 2022. Oh, we have a whole bunch. Um, so we have Zach, Phoebe, um, Mishika, um, Cam, Altharva, Maria got almost all of them, Ethan, um, Angelou. Ryder, Miles and Graham, Naomi, Anna, Andrea. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome to hear y'all have, have, have joined us for the summer doing these classes. Now the next question is, even if you haven't taken all the classes, which is your favorite class that y'all have taken out of Camp Creatology this summer? And oh, while y'all are... Go ahead. Sorry, Dean. I was going to uh, say while we wait for that, um, we have a question here about do you have any tips on how to um, help someone who's having trouble lining up the, um, I don't know what they're called, the the yellow and the orange, uh, the, the pink and the orange inside of the crest? Yeah. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do is so you can kind of see mine's not lined up very well. 
but this one over here is. So I'm assuming this is what they're probably talking about, how it's not lined up very well. Yeah, so I think so. What I would do is get this one, the pink one, position to kind of like where you can see how I have it here. So it's lined up here and it's lined up here. Keep that one down and then move this one, the orange one up where it lines up with this bottom part here. And then you can take an extra piece of foam that you have. And this works perfect that mine didn't line up too. So we can show other people what to do. So you can see how it's hanging over the, the orange right here. Take a piece of the foam, a straight edge of the foam and line it up. And then take, you can see the extra part that I need to cut off here. Take your pencil, let's see if I can do this without the, with the camera, not hiding it, and use that foam straight piece as a line to cut it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that piece off and you can kind of see, it's kind of hard to show it in the, the camera. And then I'm just going to cut that extra piece off that I had an overhang of. And there. And the one who had that question, let us know if that was the answer that you needed. Okay, so now we have the second layer of our crests done. Now we have the unicorn horn to cut out. So now we're gonna cut out the unicorn horn. So while you cut that out, we have a whole bunch of um, answers to your question. So a lot of people love the clay animals. Um, I don't fun. know if that's the same as the sea creatures, but um, we have a lot of those as well. We have the owl um, making monsters, solar system necklace, a bunch of those. A lot of people are loving this class. Well, thank um, you. Forest painting, alien art. Um, and I think that's it. Those, oh, are, a lot. those are a lot of fun. Yeah, they've all been a lot of fun. Okay, so now we have our unicorn horn cut out. I'm gonna take this template and I'm going to take my red because the red is the one that I did the circle. I transferred the circle for the claw to go on to. So I'm going to add, before I cut out the circle, I'm gonna add, I can find a spot here. There we go. I'm going to add it to the red and I'm going to trace it. Onto the foam, just like we've done all the other times. So it sounds like y'all really liked some of those classes that we did this summer. It's always good to hear the feedback on, now we're gonna cut out the horn and the circle for the claw and the unicorn horn. Uh, but it's always fun to hear what the feedback is for these classes. You can always have one of your parents or guardian um, give feedback as well on our classes. Again, we would also like to see some of y'all's creations. Um, if you could have one of your parents or guardian upload your picture, your final picture or your craft in progress, 
of and have them hash or tag it to hashtag Michael's Kids Club or Michael's Make It With, sorry, hashtag Michael's classes or hashtag Mike Make It With Michael's. Thank you for putting that in there because there's times that I get those messed up. They're tongue twisters for sure. That they are. That was like I was teaching the uh, class a couple weeks ago for Camp Creatology, and it was the paper woven turtle. That one was hard to say a few times. I know I would have gotten stuck for sure. <laughs> and you're going to whatever color. And again, you don't have to do it this way. But what I'm doing is the color that I have of my dragon claw. I'm going to use that extra foam to make the stripe on the unicorn horn. But we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to adhere. So now we're going to. So what you'll see is your claw is going to go right here in the circle. If it doesn't fit in the circle, that is fine. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue stick and you're going to flip over the claw and you're going to add glue to it. And then you're just going to adhere it and you're going to set that aside. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take whatever color of the stripes, these stripes that we're going to make, whatever color you want for your unicorn, take that color and cut a strip it can be any, any width of strip that you want because you're just going to, it's going to be like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to have it like this. So it's whatever width you want to make your um, stripes for the unicorn. So what we do with this is I, I'm going to push this over and I'm going to show it to you here. So I take my strip that I have of the fun foam. I have my unicorn horn right here. I'm going to lay my unicorn strip on top of it like this. So it's coming off of the edge. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it back and I'm going to glue the back side of that. And then I'm going to lay it down here. And as you can see, it's going to be hanging over the edge. Now that it's glued on, you're going to flip over and you can see I'm going to cut here, here, and here. So it makes it a perfect fit on the horn. So I just cut off and you'll probably get some glue on your scissors. You can just, it'll be fine. And then I'm cutting this part off. So it'll look like this. So there's one stripe. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the part that I had already cut off in an angle and I'm gonna line that up because this was the part that was cut. See right here? Then I'm going to move this up to here and I'm going to line it up to this edge of the unicorn. And what I'll do is I will hold that there. I will lift this back, glue it, and adhere it to the horn. Now that it's adhered to the horn, flip it back over and cut it again. Then what you're gonna do, you can add, you don't have to add three, you can add however many that you want. They can be thinner, like I said. You could add to this, you could probably do some of the chenille stems that are in your um, craft case. You could add googly eyes to this. You could add um, any of the extras that you have in 
the craft case to make it your own. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this. This one, I usually, I'm just going to take it, cover the top, add a little bit of glue to the top of the unicorn horn, press it down. Again, well, that one didn't work, did it? So I'm going to add it to both. With it being smaller, it does do that. So then flip it over, and then you're just going to cut the excess off. If it doesn't move like it just did again, because my glue didn't dry. OK. So there's the unicorn horn decorated. And again, you can add anything else that you would like to add to that to make it your own. So now we're going to set those off to the side and we're going to bring our shields down. So now we're going to adhere these two pieces to the back of the shield. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it because I already, because what we did was we aligned it, put these two together and got them to where they were centered in, <coughs> excuse me centered in the middle of that crest. And to keep them there, what you're gonna do is hold them down and you're going to flip, so I'm holding it like this. I'm gonna flip this back and I'm going to put some glue here and then put that there. And then I'm gonna go over here and flip these back and glue them. So you don't have to move them and then try to get them back in position and then they don't go off. If you've got some coming up like this, just add glue to it and then lay it back down. And then what you're gonna do the same thing with this one. We're gonna line them up, get them centered as good as we can. Lift them up a little bit and hold on to them so you can get glue on there. And all you're doing is just taking the glue stick and spreading it around. And you're gonna push those down. And then you're gonna take these two, fold them back. And then adhere the glue. And if they do come up, just add a little bit more glue. Okay, so there we have the two, those are ready. Um, I know we do, I know, like I said, this is our last camp class, but we do have a lot more classes online and you can look at them with your parents at um, michaels.com and you can look under, it's michaels.com and then look under inspiration and then classes. And you can see what classes we have going on for different age groups. What you might, if you wanna take a painting class, we have, you can look at those. If you wanna do a clay class, we've got classes for that. Um, we also have a project page where, um, like myself, I'm one of the project designers where we have all of our projects that we make and they're shown online. And I am one of the kids designers as well. So you can see some of the projects that we have made for uh, the kit for your kids and for you to make during the summer or really any time. So have one of your parents look it up for you and try those classes out. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dragon claw. Dragon claw, you can put, you can have them sticking straight up if you want. You can have them off to an angle. I kind of like where it's at an angle because it looks like he's grabbing it with his claws like this. So all you're going to do is you're going to take the glue stick. You need to roll it up a little bit. Add glue to the back. 
and then adhere it into the middle. Now you can see here, I don't know if you can see on camera because I just noticed my camera is really shaking. Sorry about that. Um, I have some uh, pencil marks. What you can do is you can lightly erase them if it bothers you. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to take the unicorn horn and again, you can position the unicorn horn any which way you would like. You can have it straight up. You can have it pointing to the left, pointing to the right, any place you would like to do it. And then adhere with the glue stick on the back. And there are, here is the unicorn fantasy crest. And here is the Dragon Claw Fantasy Crest. Also, uh, go ahead. I was going to say, Tina, um, since we have a little bit of time, we, we've had a few questions about the stripes on the unicorn. Could you go over that just one more time? Yes. Let me just, one good thing is it comes right off when it hasn't been stuck for a bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to take you're gonna cut a strip. We're gonna go a little bit smaller on this one because I'm gonna go in between. So you can do any width of strip that you would like. I'm gonna take this small one, get my glue stick out again. And so what you're gonna do is you're going to take the strip and go, see how I went in between? Or we're just gonna take these off, how's that? It's easier. Okay, so I'm gonna take this strip and I'm gonna go wherever I want that strip to go and then you're gonna hang it off of the edge. So you can cut the angles. So see how I have it at an angle here? I glued it down because it already had the glue on from the other one. So you would glue it down, flip it over, what you're going to do is you're going to cut off the excess pieces. So it fits onto the end. Then you're going to take the strip again and you're going to just go over it again. You're going to glue it. Put it on, adhere it, flip it over, and cut the angles off. And then you will just continue until you have the stripes that you would like to have on your unicorn horn. And then if you want to get to the top, what you'll do is you will take the piece, you'll do just, you'll do it again, you will have it hanging off the top, flip it over, and you will cut the excess pieces off. And there's your stripes on your horn. And then what you'll do is you will just take that and glue it to the unicorn crest. Did we have any more questions? Not right now. Or steps that needed to be acknowledged? I don't think so. I think okay. everybody had a great time okay. really enjoyed this class. Okay, so everybody again, thank you for joining the last class for Camp Creatology for this year. Um, please have 
someone um, upload your finished project to um, hashtag Michael's classes, hashtag um, Michael's Kids Club, and hashtag Make It With Michael's. Um, Cause we would love, I, I go through and I look to see who, what everybody's outcome or what their design has come up with. And it's always fun to see what creations y'all have come up with. And uh, yeah, <laughs> hope everybody has a great summer and we will see you next time. Awesome. Thank you, so everybody. everybody. Thank you so much for this class. I really Bye. enjoyed it and that they're really going to miss you and um, the camp creatology. So thank you so much, Tina, for being here with us today. Thank and you. thanks everyone for joining us. Okay. See Join you. us in other classes. Bye. Bye.